lovely sunny day at the beach, calm water, hardly anyone around, and a stone. I guess you've done this many times before at the beach or maybe at a lake or a river. Are you ready? Flat stones often work very well. You may even get them to skip several times over the water. Big heavy round stones on the other hand are often duds. They don't even skip at all. Well the success of stone skipping depends on three things. One, the surface of the water. Two, the stone you choose. And three, the way you throw it. Let's see why. The surface of the water acts like a stretched sheet of rubber and it's difficult to penetrate. There's the surface, here's the water underneath. Imagine that somebody throws a stone from directly above. There we are. That arrow represents the force with which the stone is thrown. All of that force will be used to penetrate the surface of the water and it'll go right through without any problems. Now, if you throw a stone with the same force from an angle, like this, the amount of that force that's used to penetrate is much less. In fact, it's this amount here, coming down from the beginning of the arrow to the surface of the water. Not as much, less likely to penetrate, but it'll probably still go through. However, if you throw a stone from a very shallow angle like this, same force, so we'll use an arrow of the same length, the amount of that force that's used to penetrate is very small. It's only that tiny bit there. And because the surface of the water is like a stretched sheet of rubber, it's more likely that the stone will bounce off rather than penetrate. Now it also depends on the stone you choose, as I said, and a flatter one works better, as you know. The reason for this is that a flat stone, when it hits the surface of the water, spreads that force out over a larger area. So the amount of pressure is less from a flat stone than from a big fat one. It's a bit like a pin bouncing off the surface of a balloon. What, you say? How could a pin bounce off a balloon? Well, it can do that if it comes to the surface at a very shallow angle. There, just like the stone bouncing off the surface of the water. I'm pushing with a reasonable force. What happens if I push with the same force and come directly from above? Just like the stone that didn't skip. And you can hear what's happening. It's not penetrating. It's actually bouncing off the surface. What happens, though, if the pin comes directly down from above with the same force? <laughs> a rotten thing. <laughs> Let's see if we can take out that bottom coin by hitting it with the back of a knife. <laughs> a cardboard box is a very good structure for absorbing energy. In fact, if I take a heavy weight like this, I can drop that on the cardboard box and let's see what happens. 